Here's a great question. Bachelor's students are always baffled around taking general studies courses when they've already declared a major, and the major may be in engineering, or it could be in economics, but they have to take a lot of other courses. Uh, maybe these courses are in history, or it's in social sciences or humanities, and there's often a thinking around, why am I taking these courses? Now, this is where the U.S. educational system is fundamentally different from the educational systems back home. U.S. educational systems are all about holistic learning, multifaceted, multidimensional learning, where a student will have to take some general studies courses towards their degree program. Even if you're taking robotics and autonomous systems, which is highly intricate and complex and it's very math driven, you have to take courses in other verticals like humanities and history. What they're trying to do is allow the student different perspectives. You have a broad spectrum of disciplines that you will have and be knowledgeable in. All of this is going to culminate and allow you to think outside the box. You've heard that expression and this is how thinking outside the box starts to take form. You will learn the softer skills. How do you lead a team and work with a team of American students when you've never been exposed to that? Taking courses in general studies will allow you to do so. Further, it's not optional. It's mandatory. You have to take courses in those different verticals. Now you have a lot of choice. You can choose not to take a history course or not to take a language course. You could take um, all those courses in the social sciences, but you have to take courses in other verticals and it will truly be extraordinary in terms of the impact it makes on your personality. Hi, my name is Patrick Cario. For more questions like this, or to discuss your particular case, come find me on americancolleges.com. I'm originally from India. I came here to do my bachelor's degree at Arizona State University and my master's degree at MIT. I was also the former vice president at the US News Global Education, which is part of usnews.com, the premier source of US university rankings. And in all those years, I've worked with over a dozen U.S. universities on their admission side and also counseled thousands of students from India and around the world on their educational pursuits. Whether you have a question about what subject area to focus on, which universities to apply to, what kind of scholarships or job opportunities you might have on campus, what are your opportunities like going to be in OPT period, or perhaps during your H-1B visa sponsorship period, I'm here to help if you need it.